Okay, now let us look at um, the meshes for different components. So we can toggle the meshes on from here. And we can see that the meshes for different part geometries are available. I'm going to hide the skin mesh first so that we can see the meshes for different uh, components. We are also going to hide some of the geometry so that we can see individual meshes. Okay. Now, if we go to the mesh um, app by clicking on the mesh wrap and switching to the model tab, we, we will see that we can do a quality check by clicking on the quality analysis. Here we can see the aspect ratio of elements and the war factor. Here we can also see the element types. We have uh, triangles and we have uh, quadrilaterals and both are um, linear elements. Now we notice that um, these meshes were created in such a way that these um, wherever there are overlaps the nodes are automatically merged. We are going to look at the ribs mesh and we would notice that we have automatic mesh capture on and it is being applied on four mesh parts. Now we can toggle this button on and we can see what are those mesh parts where automatic mesh capture is being applied okay. and those mesh parts are these spars and uh, this tube and so on so we are going to exit that um, and so this automatic mesh capture um, results in merge nodes and that results in reduction in number of tie constraints and thereby reduction in number of finite element model equations to solve that helps not only to improve run times but also to eliminate the need to model additional tie constraints now we are going to take a look at how to generate a mesh for one of the part geometries i'm going to delete this uh, um, left l1 mesh and recreate that one we notice that left L1 is gone and I'm going to um, unhide the geometry so that we can see where that L1 was. Okay, So we have the mesh for um, outer L1 but for inner L1 mesh is gone. So let us now um, generate the mesh for that component by going to the mesh and by creating a surface quad mesh now we are going to name that mesh as left inner L1 mesh we can specify the mesh size the element order linear or quadratic we are going to stick with linear here um, we also need to select the support and that support is the C2 positioned L1 and now we are going to say mesh now the mesh is created and we can say ok now we notice that here we need to update the properties ok and uh, if we try to do that we will see that we get an error because when we up deleted the previous mesh some relations were broken and we can see where we have the warning message being shown we can double click on that specific section and open the entities and we notice that here it is saying that one of the meshes has been deleted so we need to remove that 
and we can add the left L1 mesh to that list and say close. Now we should be able to update the model. Now the model is updated and all meshes are up to date.